This soil is special. It's said that not a single rat has set foot on it. Tory Island has mice, but it's rat-free. You might think that's because the island is some 14 kilometres off the coast of County Donegal in Ireland in the Atlantic. Willie and Padraig Dugan are convinced that it's because of the sacred earth from the grave of an unknown woman. I had to believe first when he's fighting her around and said the prayers with her. I'm sure she will work then. She was for rats and for lightens and everything. The saga about Tory's soil is centuries years old. The islanders say that the bodies of six men and one woman were washed up one day and were buried together in a mass grave. So the woman was sitting on the surface the next morning mm -hmm. and uh, then they reburied her and the next morning she was sitting up on top again. So uh, they, they got the priest and the priest was, uh, he was reading from a book and he said, this woman is a saint, so we'll have to bury her over here where the cross is. Mm -hmm. And that's where we, we get the holy clay now. The clay has to be fetched by the eldest Dugan family member to retain its rat repellent properties, according to the legend. And that's because of a saint highly revered in Ireland, Saint Colum Killy, also known as Saint Columba. When he first came to the island, it was the island was all pagan. So he he wasn't allowed to land on the island. So he asked if anybody would give him enough space to stand on. And it was a Dugan that granted them that space. So that's how the Dugans was nominated to pick up the clay. You'll have no trouble landing on Tory these days. A ferry makes the crossing three or four times a day, weather permitting. Most passengers are day trippers who often arrive feeling a little queasy. But they get a personal welcome from the island's uncrowned king Patsy Dan Rogers. A man with no real power and no airs and graces. If I got a crown and having wearing it down the pier or meeting so many people and so on, Jesus, I, you know, I mean, I'd like to keep my feet on the ground and to be with the people. Reason enough for the islanders to choose him as their king 20 years ago. That's a custom that used to exist on other Irish islands too, but it only lives on here, on Tory. His realm is small, only four kilometers by one kilometer in area. 130 people live here and a few dozen sheep on sacred rat-free soil. Paul Colum Killis said, which is a powerful saying by him, there'll be no money accepted. So the, the Dugan, the eldest of the Dugan's family that is to strip at this holy clay can't accept and he and that is he's very good at that. He can't accept and he won't accept any money. But if they wish, anyone wish to give him a pint of Guinness, then that's OK. We'll never know just how many glasses of Guinness have passed hands over the years. Certainly many Irish continue to swear by Tory earth. First of all, you have to bless yourself. And then you put it down at the four corners of the house. That corner and that far away corner. And at the door and the same at the back. Noel Cole always has his bag of Tory soil near. He had a rat problem until he scattered the sacred soil. Once they come across that, they'll not be back again. Soil with magic properties? There's no trick, you have to believe in it. It's holy, holy clay. You have to believe in it just. More tourists who believe in the island's sacred soil would be very welcome here. Work is very thin on the ground, and few put out to sea these days. Many people here think that the fishing quotas imposed on Ireland when it joined the EU in 1973 were too strict. Children growing up here have few job prospects. Anton Meenan tries to make ends meet by painting rather than fishing. Half the population moved away and then people started, you know, through, through uh, 
there's people that start just then with, with their own art exhibition. We went to Scotland and we went to Dublin and just highlight, you know, and try to remain, you know, on the island. So there was always something. There's always been something. It must be somebody fr from above, you know, our Colin kill you. There's always been somebody, you know. The myth of sacred soil doesn't quite square with Catholic doctrine. But even the local priest has come to terms with it. Well, I, I know for a fact there's no, there's no rats. Uh, I wouldn't really be in this superstition. I believe in God. <laughs> uh, funny enough, being a priest, it's kind of handy. Um, but yeah, people, people put a lot of stake by it. And if, that's, if that gets people feeling safe on their boats and keeps our island free from rats, sure, that's great. Disbelief is perilous. Legend has it that a lighthouse keeper tried to bring rats to Tory and died the next morning. <laughs> 